All right, this is Brandon Turner from ESPN3. We got a great game today at the Hampton Convocation Center. It is the Hampton Pirates, men's pirates, against the Longwood Lancers of Longwood University. We got a great game here. Both teams are ready to go. The, Lan the, the Longwood University Lancers are in ninth place. Hampton University Pirates are in eighth place. Uh, definitely got to watch out for for the HU side, uh, Kaylin Fisher and also Jermaine Merrill, who have been high scoring the whole season. On the Lancer side, definitely got to watch out for Shaw Booty Phillips, who averaged 13.8 points a game. This is going to be a, a game about defense, so that's what it's all about. The last two games that they played, HU beat them at home and on the road. So this is the first uh, round of the tournament. Welcome to Hampton Convocation Center. Hampton University gets along with Lancers. Five points a game. Yep, this will be the third matchup between these two teams. Hampton victorious in the two previous matchups. Came away with the victory January the 30th, 96-83. to 83. And one here at home on February the 21st, 86 to 66. And we are underway here with the Big South Conference Tournament. Gives the Pirates an early two-point lead. Shot there from Phillips, no good. Rebound comes down to Wilson. And his putback is good. good. by number four, Jalen Wilson. Did a good job of sizing up the offensive player. And a whistle and a foul as that is Greg Hexall. play so far so it's a good game Phillips left open drills the open three-point three shot from Lorenzo Phillips three. gets on Lorenzo. the board to go when these teams last met <laughs> 18 seconds on the shot clock Merrill finds a key miss open in the corner his three-pointer is good Munoz looking to create Splits the defenders, kicks it out. Phillips open on the drive, and the three-pointer is good. Munoz will slow things down, gets the screen from Okafor, looks to create in the lane. Okafor, he'll dial it up from three, and his shot is good. Transition opportunity for Longwood. Munoz looks to go all the way to the basket, goes high off the glass. And both. both. And Munoz pushing in transition. He'll get left open. He'll spot up for three short. Jeter with the rebound, back out Phillips. He'll step into a two-pointer and it's good. 3-2 zone. Smith will drive and the floater is good. Tough defense, but better offense as the Lancers push the lead back to good defense from Phillips to get out on the shooter. Fisher will take this shot right here and he loves to take it off the dribble. Floater in the lane is good. Kalen Fisher. Guarded by Mero, turns into him, and a great job by Mero. He stood right there and absorbed the contact. <laughs> it was Mero almost stood there and sized him up and knew it was coming to tie the game. They led early on. Longwood went on a nice run and have led for the last few minutes. Hextall left open in the corner. His three is good. Gets the screen. Finds Oakley. Oakley going to take the open three-pointer. And it's good. Devin Oakley. Created a lead in the first half, but it looks like Munio somehow came open. Oh. It's to go, Fisher, guarded by Smith. He'll pull up for his own three, and it's good. Right now, it's a three-point shootout.
20 minutes. We didn't play as we well, well as we wanted to defensively for the whole 20, but we did for about the last seven. So we were able to come back from a four, five point deficit and gain the lead. Now just settle down, relax your nerves, come out and play our basketball. All right, now I noticed from the stats and everything that uh, Longwood had 50% in three-point shots and also offensive rebounds five to one. What else can you do to kind of stop that? Because they're paying high pace. Lock out and play defense. All right, coach. Jeter driving to the basket, guarded by Hextall, up, now out, Wilson catching, shooting his three is good. So ball continues to move around, Phillips with the lane to the basket, shot nearly blocked, hesitates, loses control, turnover, Phillips in the lane, pull up jumper is good. And Hextall. Inside to Mitchell, free throw line jumper is good. We'll hold and reset the offense. Barnes able to get position. as Merrill looks to create down the lane. Akeem Mitchell again! Mitchell really being the spark. Seven foot wingspan he has. Hextall, Merrill from deep. Three is good! Give a timeout. Merrill yep. puts it on the floor, nearly loses his balance. Hextall with that long, lanky step. Gets the finger roll. Going right at Greg Hextall. Wilson off the screen, goes to the bucket, hesitates, floater up and good. Great concentration by Wilson to hit that in traffic. We'll have to fall back on defense here. Munoz sets up Jeter. Flood uses a screen, step back three, and it's good. <laughs> 20 seconds for the Lancers. Smith driving, gets all the way to the bucket, and the lane is good. We're ties the game here at 57. Mero in trouble. Mitchell. Mitchell will take the three and it's good with the hand in the face. Big shot from Akeem Mitchell. Smith, Okafor guarded by Hextall. 14 seconds left, Munoz tries to get to the baseline. Sets up Smith from the three-point corner and it's good. Back-to-back -back threes. Both teams aren't, aren't in foul trouble like the first half, so it will be inbounding, inbounding to Centron. Centron goes to the floor, offensive foul. Earn a chance to play the conference regular season champs at, in North Carolina. Ball is loose, comes back to Mero. Mero, tight walk, reverse layup, good. Big now, shot from Jermaine Mero. Coach Aldridge calls out plays for Centron. They go in quickly to Smith. Smith drives on Hextall. Another foul, they're gonna call it and one. I thought he got him before he went up. They're going to count the basket. Smith 
with the opportunity here for the three-point play to make it a one-possession game, as you say. Free throw's no good. Wilson is not letting Merrill touch the ball. He Whoa. went to trap. Merrill does have the ball now. They will foul, and that will be Phillips' fifth foul. He will foul out. But Merrill at the free throw line now with an opportunity to secure this for Hampton. First free throw is good. Back to a five-point advantage for Hampton. Munoz to have to touch the ball. Munoz in the lane, kick out. Wilson gonna drive, goes right at Barnes. The shot is good and a foul. Not letting this one go quietly with the fouls here and credit Longwood with creating Three-point plays here. Free throw from Wilson is good, so the lead is back to three. Plus two tough ones to High Point and Radford, but they're going to get Munoz for a hold. Hextall with an opportunity now with free throws. Oh, no. Excuse me. It's not Hextall. It's Mero. Yep. And it's a strictly strategy. Coach Aldridge is calling for Mero to be shooting at the free throw line. Merrill is complaining like Hextall didn't even touch the ball, and they will come to the They're monitor. They're come look at the monitor. And Coach Allrich was screaming. They did not want Merrill to be on the free throw line. That's great coaching right there. Great strategy for Coach Aldrich. And the Pirates don't have anybody on the block. I think if Hextall misses this, they might want to bring some people down. Nah, because two shots as Hampton is in the double bonus. And just a reminder there at home, the shot clock is turned off, Matt. Second free throw is good for so the Pirates. 20. And, and Coach Aldridge just has to eat that one right there. Munoz to the lane. Shot will fall. Longwood takes the timeout. Munoz goes coast to coast, gets the layup. Pirates have to take care of the basketball here. Pirates get it in quickly to Mero, who somehow got wide open. Hextall with the easy lay-in and the foul. I think Longwood forgot Mitchell could run the baseline. It was a design play out of the timeout. Mero ran to a spot. Mitchell ran the baseline. Defender fell down. And Munoz again will try and go the length of the floor. Go all the way to the bucket. Good defense by Barnes, but the layup from Munoz is good. Pirates again can run the baseline. They get it into Fisher. Fisher is fouled, and he'll go back to the free throw line. For the Lancers. Lead is five, 11.4 seconds to go. Second free throw is good for Kalen Fisher, and the lead is back to six. Long entry pass comes into Smith. He'll drive, he'll pull up the long three. Off the mark, Hextall secures the rebound and he will push and cross the timeline to Barnes. Barnes will hold and that will do it. Hampton wins 77 to 71. They get their first ever Big South Men's Tournament Championship victory. Three more, three more, three more. Family on three, one, two, three. Man, 28 points. I thought Hampton was about to lose. What happened? What, what's going on? How did, how did you try him? Uh, I mean, we, we just stayed strong as a team. Everybody on the team felt like we could win it. So we stayed strong and we, we, we pulled out the win. Right, right, right. Now, so for the next game, man, what do you think you're going to do for the next game? I mean, it, it, whatever the coaches tell us to do, we're going to lock in on the game plan. If we lock in and do that, we're going to get the win. Got you, got you. It was good talking to you, Jermaine. Thank you. All right. All right, I got Hakeem the Dream. Mitchell, how you doing? I'm doing good. Good, man. You you came in the clutch with a lot of rebounds and stuff. Tell me, what was your focus? I mean, they were killing us on the boards in the first half. We only had, like, one offensive rebound in the first half, I think. Right. So that was the point of focus coming in at halftime. Right. Okay. All right, so I asked Jermaine, too, man, that you did the next round. What's the game plan? You got to play hard. Now we know that Big South uh, tournament time, everybody's coming because they don't want their season in. And we got Canvas number one, so we got to bring our A game.
Now, what I noticed as far as the defense, your defense and everything, is that y'all was kind of a little bit sluggish in the beginning and stuff, but y'all actually picked it up with more offensive rebounds, like you said before. Mm -hmm. So we're just going to make sure that you don't make any more mistakes <laughs> not like that, right? I would say it's just the defense has to – it's defense uh, first, and our offense is always going to come. But if we get stops, then nobody can stop us. All right, it's Brandon, ESPN3, Mitchell, Hampton University.